Welcome everybody, my name is Chef George Garcia and this is my show, Gangster in the Kitchen. Welcome everyone, on today's episode we're going to work on the uh, citrus chicken nozzle salad. And the ingredients are... All right, I got my water boiling here. Um, we're gonna add oil and salt, but before you do that, you gotta let it come to a boil. If you add salt now, your pasta is gonna be too salty from a result that is gonna be coming up and it's gonna be actually cooking the salt. So you're gonna have a salinity um, of water. So let's begin cooking. Now I'm gonna start on a medium, on a medium heat pan, I'm gonna start uh, frying some chicken. I'm not actually frying, I'm sauteing chicken. Salt and pepper on both sides. All right, all right kids, always remember to Salt and pepper on both sides for it to be nice and tasty. And one good tip that you're gonna know about, um, especially chicken breast or any type of chicken um, poultry, that you see this little white ring around it. Always remember, once you put the chicken in the pan, it's not gonna, it's gonna come out non-stick when it's ready to be moved. Like, as you can see right here, nice and golden brown. Try to cook the chicken for at least five or six or five or six minutes on one side, three or four minutes on the other side, so you can have a nice juicy chicken. You know when the when the chicken is ready, when you touch it. And it feels like the edge of your palm. This is medium rare. You put it real tight, it's overcooked. You loosen it up, it's medium. Medium rough. And this is medium rare. Another tip kids, when you're working with chicken, always wash your hands. Always, when it's raw chicken, wash your hands. I've been called out on it at least once. And this is for you, Miguel. Now that you can see that you got your water that came up to a boil, we're gonna add salt and oil. About two or three tablespoons of olive oil or any cooking oil that you want to use. Always remember, salt the water well now, so you can have your pasta well seasoned. Now we're ready to add our pasta. This pasta is orzo pasta made from semolina flour it looks like rice but it's not rice you're gonna let that cook for at least 15 to 20 minutes well i got the chicken cooking over here and the pasta bo um, boiling i'm gonna start chopping some onion and some cherry tomatoes. Doing a little bit of pre chopping. You do a little slice over here, another one on top, a 
couple of plants. And now we're going to um, dice it like they do in the Sheffield world. It's okay, some of the dices are bigger than others. This is going into a salad. It's not really going to bother it. Let me take the chicken out. The chicken speaking to me and it's ready to get out. This chicken rests for at least five minutes for all the juices to get um, redistributed. Okay, now you're gonna add some salt and some pepper to taste. About a teaspoon, a tablespoon of salt if you wanna go that route. Same with the pepper. in a vinaigrette you're gonna add it as a stream the oil in this case we don't need that because it's gonna go in, inside the the pasta so let's add all, all um, half of the oil now for it to start doing its magic I make sure that I'm not breaking the vinaigrette. you gotta taste it to see if it tastes good or to adjust your seasoning let me just taste it real quick all right it's gonna need a little bit more pepper And you're gonna add some parsley. Okay, I already added the tomatoes and the chicken to my to my orzo and the cheese and the onion. Now I'm gonna add the sauce, the green stuff, the mula stuff. I'm joking, the sauce. It very well. Make sure everybody's happy. Put 
The good thing about this recipe, you can either eat it cold or hot. My suggestion, if you're going to eat it hot, don't add the, the cheese yet because you will melt the cheese. So you add the cheese last. If you're going to eat it cold, you could add it right after the orzo is already cooled down. Plate it as so. And I'm going to taste it real quick. I hope you like my recipe. You can find it on my blog. And always remember, keep it simple, keep it interesting, and always keep it from your heart. And even you could be a gangster in the kitchen.